Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a beautiful Sunday morning here in Austin, Texas. This is day seven, 12 to three plus minutes of playing challenge. And as always, I am filled with gratitude. Um, thoughts on my mind today. Um, yesterday morning, um, I went out and did a 20 mile run. And uh, somewhere in the middle of the run, I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. I decided to take a different course. I ended up running to the airport and uh, it, it was about 10 miles to get there. And I hadn't really done it before. I actually hadn't done it before. And it was one of those things that, you know, something in me, the Holy Spirit just led me to go there. And I get there and I asked a gentleman for some water. And initially he was like, oh, he didn't have it. And he's like, oh, maybe you can go into the airport and get it. And then he stopped me and he's like, you know what? Here, I'll give it to you. He found some water and he gave it to me. In the midst of putting the water into my flask, uh, my backpack, him and another gentleman, Frank, started talking. And uh, I just was kind of overhearing some of the conversation and then it led into, um, somehow it led into a, a, a conversation about all of our fates. And, and, and as I always say, like I'll go into these moments where I know I was supposed to be there in those moments. It was amazing. I had a real cool conversation for about 10 minutes uh, of some things that I needed to hear. And then uh, Frank invited me to his church. On my run back, uh, just as about I was about to get home, uh, I thought of a friend of mine. I talked about him actually yesterday, uh, Charles. Charles is a gentleman in my neighborhood um, who's going through a tough time. He's uh, actually homeless at the moment. And uh, for a long time, I was too fearful to talk to him and help him because he wasn't willing to take the help. Um, sometimes, you know how it goes, pride goes. I know it well. But over time, because of my mother-in-law and other circumstances that happened, me and him become really close. So yesterday he came to my mind and right at the tail end of my run, I go run over to him because the Holy Spirit says to go talk to him to let him know that um, God's listening to him, watching over him, all the things of the sort. Uh, lo and behold, what I didn't know is that he had a prayer last night. Um, see, Charles has been a um, addict of tobacco, to, uh, dipping, tobacco dipping. And he was praying on it last night. And uh, so I come this morning, the next morning, and we're talking. And I was like, you know, Charles, I think it's time for you to stop, to stop dipping. Uh, and there was a reason why I said it because of something that happened between him and a girl that he was affiliated with. And I was like, sometimes things don't happen the way that we want, but there's still reasons why these things are happening. And I think that God's telling me, first and foremost, to start to forgive others around you. And secondly, listen to what people are saying, even if you don't necessarily want to hear it or it hurts. And I said, one of those things was these dippings. And so he starts looking at me in a weird way and he says, dude, I need your help. I need you to pray with me and I need you to take this dipping thing and throw it away. <laughs> wow, it was a moment. And so we prayed over it. I told him to give himself grace because addiction isn't easy to just get over it. I mean, he's been addicted to these things for th almost 30 years. But what I appreciated about it was the vulnerability he had to come to me about it. And so <laughs> it touched my heart. I took it, I dumped all of his contents, but I'll actually be keeping this particular container because it tells me so much about my growth, about his growth, about community, about building each other up. It was a blessing that came yesterday. And it's a blessing that I wanted to share with you guys today. As always, be blessed today and every day. Talk to you soon. Peace.